Hey everyone, this is the comment show for my 360 degree video camera part two. You can click somewhere around here to watch it look. I am exhausted. I just want to take a nap. Can somebody please just take over from here? I'm just going to go ahead and narrate my own comment for this week. When you say DNS software, you mean DHCP, right? Yes, yes, I made a mistake. Shocker. Installing DNS software so we can assign the connected device's IP addresses. It's not DNS that assigns IP addresses to your machine, it's DHCP that does that. However, to be fair, the DNS software that I'm using does also manage DHCP. Maybe you could push the web capabilities a bit more, like remote conversion and file download. I like where you're going with that, and I appreciate that you see the potential of this project. That's why I posted all my code up on GitHub so that people like you can add to it and continue with it so that this project doesn't stop here. Please make a step-by-step -step on how to do this with no skipping or fast-forwarding. For those of you that may be unaware, I post a detailed step-by-step -step list of instructions on the project page that I list in the description of all my videos. The videos are only intended to be an overview of the project to help get people interested. And then if they do become interested, they can go to the project page to find out more. And I don't do this as any type of ploy to try and get people to visit my website. It just makes more sense to lay out the steps and allow people to go at their own pace instead of making a slow step-by-step seven-hour video of the process. Talk about a snooze fest. Why do I need a web server? Why not a Bluetooth module on GPIO that can interface with a remote? Or even IR if you want to go cheap? There are a ton of different ways to remotely control the camera. And what you decide is completely up to you. I just wanted a way to remotely view the video on my Android device, so setting up a web server made the most sense. <sighs> it's good to be back. And I appreciate everybody's patience over the last couple months. So as far as updates go, I have been noticing that a lot of you are wanting me to revisit some of the old projects that I've previously done. Now normally I haven't been doing that, I just continuously create new projects and leave the old projects where they are. However, I'm curious as to what you guys think. So I've set up a poll, it's up in the right hand corner of the screen or if YouTube's changed it, it has a little eye logo. But I want you guys to vote and tell me whether you want me to revisit old projects or if you don't want me to revisit them and just want me to continue creating new projects. And if you have an old project that you would like me to revisit, please let me know in the comments below. While we're on the topic of comments, consider this a teaser. Recently I put together this twin reflex camera from a kit, and I'm curious, if you all had one of these, how would you hack it? Also, don't forget that my 400,000 subscriber LED contest over at Instructables is still underway. So if you haven't submitted your LED project yet, please remember to do so so that you can win some of the awesome prizes. All right, everyone, thanks for all the comments and support, and I will see you all next time. I'm always excited to see my comments on the comment show. I made a perfect comment, and you're going to read it. So I watch until you roll the outro, and I realize my comment wasn't included. So you should start to put a single comment after the outro so my excitement can last just a few seconds longer until I'm filled with disappointment anyway.